Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the previous year interview experience for Ecolite Digital. So guys, Ecolite Digital hiring is currently going on. Many of you are still giving exams. Some of you have received the selection mails and some of you are waiting for the interview slots. Okay, so guys, this video is for those who are currently waiting for the interviews to happen so that you can prepare for these interviews. Okay, so make sure that you are watching this video till the end. Guys, on my channel, I have been uh, posting a lot of videos regarding different different companies hiring. So Deloitte hiring is going also going on. So I posted some of the interview experiences for Deloitte hiring also as well as for the Ecolite digital hiring. I have posted two videos for the coding questions which are asked in them. So guys, similarly in future also I will continue to post such videos for different different companies. So make sure that you are available on our channel. So hit that subscribe button and also like this video because it really motivates me to make more such videos. So guys, now let's start this video and before starting the video, please hit the like button. Guys, in previous videos also, I have told you about next level and their seasons. If you are hearing next level for the first time, let me summarize this platform for you. Next level by Unacademy is India's gaming based hiring platform on which you play coding competitions among your friends and random app users. Through these competitions, you will get a professional rating and based on that, different jobs will get unlocked on the platform. Next level seasons happen every month and every month a leaderboard is maintained wherein based on your performance of that month, you are given a rank and top 3 winners at the end of month get prizes like Macbook, iPad and Kindle. Major benefits of this competition is that different jobs get unlocked and you can get opportunity to get placed at companies like KPMG, Paytm, Cashify, etc. Are you still having doubts? So guys, don't worry. In coming days, I will be sharing prizes and experiences of winners from last month who are currently interviewing in the big companies through this platform. Guys, February season has already started. Download the app and play coding competitions and use my invite code to get early access of this app. And if you give five successful referrals, your entire waitlist will be removed. So go and download the app now. The links will find in the description box. Okay, so guys, now let's just discuss the technical questions. So first question is what is normalization? So guys, normalization is first of all used in DBMS that is database concepts. Normalization is the process of organizing data in database. This includes creating tables and establishing relationship between those tables according to the rules design, designed. Okay, so this is done to make to eliminate redundancy and to maintain the consistency of the database. So normalization is basically creating tables and uh, developing relations among them. And this is done to uh, uh, reduce the redundancy and to increase the consistency of the database. Okay. So I hope now this question is clear to you. Next question is why do we do normalization? As I have told you to remove the redundancy and to increase the consistency of the database, we are doing normalization. Next question is explain OOPS concepts in detail. So guys, again, for if you have uh, following my channel, so you must know that in every interview experience, this particular question has been asked. This, this question is so much important that for this particular question, I have a dedicated video on my channel. The link you will find in the I button or in the description box. Make sure to visit it wherein I have discussed each and every concept in detail and how you will have to explain them to the interviewer with the help of the real life examples. So do watch that video also. Links will find in the description box. Next question is explain your project in detail. So yes, again, it's a very important question as per the interview is concerned because by this particular question, the interviewer wants to know that if you have worked on certain technology or not and how you have developed that particular project or what all different different things, unique ideas, your creativity you have put in that project. So all these things he wants to know from you from this particular question. So. Uh, so my advice to you is to add at least two projects in your resume. It will give a good impression to the interviewer. Okay. Next question is given a string return if string is anagram or not. So guys, again, similar question is present on the geeks for geeks. Also, I will give you this link in the description box. Make sure to visit this link and find out that how you have to write the code for finding if the string is anagram or not. Next question is what is the use of static keyword? So guys, static keyword is very commonly used in Java. So we can have a static variables. We can have a static methods. We can have static block as well as we, we can have static uh, nested classes also. 
सो स्टैटिक की वर्ड इन जावा इज यूज फॉर मेमरी मैनेजमेंट मेनली ओके सो दिस इज वट इज द यूज ऑफ स्टैटिक की वर्ड एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो इन डिटेल अगेन यू कैन ऑलवेज गूगल इट माई मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज टू लेट यू नो द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन विच कैन बी आस फ्रॉम यू इन द इंटरव्यू सो बी प्रिपेयर फॉर दैम एंड गाइज इफ यू आर फाइंडिंग दिस वीडियो इन्फॉर्मेटिव टिल नाउ प्लीज हिट दैट लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड डू हिट इन दू कमेंट दैट वट टाइप ऑफ मोर वट टाइप ऑफ वीडियोज यू वॉन्ट टू सी ऑन माई चैनल इन फ्यूचर ओके सो लेट्स मूव अहेड नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज कैन वी क्रिएट एन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ अ स्टैटिक क्लास इन जावा सो आंसर इज सिंपली नो वी कैन नॉट क्रिएट द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ स्टैटिक क्लास ओके नेक्स्ट थिंग इज हाउ डज हैश मैप वर्क इंटरनली सो इज वेन एवर यू आर गिविंग द इंटरव्यू ऑफ जावा सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज अगेन अ कॉमनली आस क्वेश्चन दट वट इज द इंटरनल वर्किंग ऑफ एन हैश मैप सो अगेन आई विल गिव यू दिस लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स यू कैन विजिट दिस पर्टिकुलर साइट हेर अ वेरी गुड डिस्क्रिप्शन इज गिवन दैट हाउ डज द हैश मैप एक्चुअली वर्क इंटरनली ओके I hope now this question is also clear to you. The last question of this video or this interview is what is deadlock? So, as deadlock is simple, if you have two uh, two processes simultaneously running, if process one has uh, uh, process one has resource two with him and process two has resource one for him. Now, process one is waiting for process uh, resource one and process two is waiting for resource two. Then it is a deadlock because both of these processes require some resources which have been hold by the another processes. so therefore it's a deadlock we cannot move ahead so this is what a deadlock is in simple terms okay so these were all the technical questions which i have discussed in this video if you like the video do comment that that you want more such videos i will be happy to make part 1 part 2 part 3 of this particular series of acquire digital interview experiences okay so guys thank you for watching this video and do subscribe the channel and do join the telegram groups also the links you will find in the description box thank you for watching this video